The lackluster CPI figures were consistent with recent remarks by Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, in which he discounted the probability of a rate hike and predicted that inflation would remain low for the duration of the year. The Australian dollar failed to account for the further increases in copper prices, whereas iron ore prices remained stable. On the domestic front, labor market data yielded inconclusive results, as the unemployment rate marginally rose to 4.1% in April despite an unexpectedly robust increase of 38.5k in employment. About monetary policy, the Reserve Bank of Australia RBA, maintained a neutral position and signaled flexibility by keeping its interest rate unchanged at 4.35% at its meeting on May 7. As a result of service price inflation, the RBA's economic forecasts indicate elevated inflation through the second quarter of 2025, before it returns to the 2% to 3% target range by late 2025 and reaches its midpoint in 2026. It is expected that both the RBA and the Federal Reserve will execute easing measures later than a number of their G10 counterparts. Considering the possibility of RBA easing later in the year and the Fed's determination to maintain a restrictive monetary policy, sustained upward movements in the AUD-USD are likely to encounter resistance. Technically, AUD-USD is trading within a bullish wave, where recent price trades above the 0.66 crucial line. A successful consolidation above this line could be a potential long signal, targeting the 0.68 line.